guys, so I'm just going to do a hair tutorial, sort of, of how I did my hair, how it is here. Um, it's just straight, so if you guys want to see how I did this, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put um, a soothing serum all over my hair. So, um, I have got to be this um, rather smooth operator, and I usually just put a pump and a half in my hand, and I just mix it up, and I just put it with my fingertips all over my hair. So the next thing I'm going to take is um, Garnier Fertice's Color Shield, and it's because I, ha I do have colored hair, um, and I try to protect the color as much as I can. So I'm just going to take like a dime size of this in my fingers, mix it all over, and then again, just do the same thing that I did with the bat to be. I'm just going to place it all over my hair. Sort of like that. And then next, I am going to take my um, Aussie Split End Protector, and this smells so good. I just sort of put two pumps of this in my hand, mix it around again, and then I just focus this one at the ends of my hair first. Alright, so my camera just shut off, but I just took um, the Aussie Split End Protector and I put it all over the ends of my hair first. And then I sort of moved it up here since I do have layers, and then I just put it throughout my bangs. The next thing I'm going to do, the next and last product that I'm going to put on my hair before I start putting heat on it, is the Tresme um, heat protector thing. I'm going to spread this all over my hair. I probably overdo it, but I don't care. Alright, now that we have all that done, I'm just going to take a brush, and I'm going to brush through it, make sure that there's no tangles in it. Um... And also to make sure that the product's all smoothed out. Alright, so when I'm going to be blow drying it, I just divide my hair in half. Because it's easier because I have really, really thick hair. I probably look really stupid on you. And I just take a clip and just clip it up. And then I'll just blow dry this one until it's dry. And then I'll just put the rest of it down and blow dry that. Alright? Okay. So now the bottom of my hair is um, dry, this part. And you can see it has like a wave to it. Some of it's curly, some of it's waved up. It's just has a mind of its own. Sometimes it likes to be really frizzy. But again, that um, got to be stuff really does take a lot of the frizz. So I'm just going to take down one more layer. And I like to just leave like a little bit at the top just because I can play with that a little bit more and give it more volume with that. So I just take the rest of this down and I just keep this part up with my bangs and clip it. I probably look so funny right now. Ugh. It's okay. And then I'm just going to blow dry the section again the same way that I blow dried the other one and I'll come back whenever it's done. Alright. Alright, so now that I have this layer done, um, you can see my bang. I'm going to just let this top layer go down. And I'm actually going to blow dry this with a little bit um, more control um, just because I want to make sure that my hair is placed correct like how I want it. So I'm going to make sure that my part is correct and straight. Just brush it down on both sides. Alright, so now all of my hair is dry. Um, just big and poofy and you know like I said I have really wavy frizzy hair so I want to get it straight so I'm going to straighten it and the straightener I'm using is um, Remington's wet to straight I don't use and it's the one inch I don't use this on um, wet hair at all even though you can just because I don't think that's really healthy for your hair it's just possible for the straightener so um what I do is I usually put it on the highest, which is 30, and then I take off the steamer thing, and it heats up pretty fast. Um, I just turned it on before this little clip came in. So it heats up pretty fast. It's already really hot, like I can't touch in there because I can already feel it like that. And it just beeps, so it's ready. Um, so how I do it is I just divide my hair again. I just like to divide my hair whenever I'm, you know, um, blow drying it or straightening it just because it's easier for me to 
you know, really control and, you know, make sure that everything's done. So I just get from my ears, the top of my ears back, and I'll straighten this part first. And it's not really that difficult. A lot of people are very precise, one inch parts, you know, whatever. I just get however much comes in that portion and I straighten it until it's straightened and then I go to the next one. Alright, so the bottom part is all straightened. I don't know if you guys can probably see. This is all straightened, so I'm just going to go to the next one. And, oh, yeah, it's straight. It's just weird. Ugh. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the next layer. And how it changes up between me blowing and drying it and straightening it is um, I like to go by sections. Like, I'll take down this side of my hair all the way to the back but not the other side. So I do it by sides now. It's kind of weird. But it just gives me more of a control like what I want to do to my hair. So since this one's down, I'm just going to again go here and just straighten just whatever needs to be done. Um, when my bangs start to come into it though, I do straighten them into it and then I style them afterwards just because that's how I do it. So I'm going to straighten this and then um, I don't know, I just take down sections, I don't know if you guys want to see that, um, but might as well. So after I finish this section, I just take down one more section over here, and then it still leaves a little bit for the middle, because I always leave the very top of my head for last, which I'll show you guys why, and then I just take down one over here, and then I have the last one over here. So I'll get back when I'm at the top of my head and ready for that, and that just changes it up, alright? Alright, all of this is done, it's all straight. And so I'm left at the top part. Let it down, let it down. And you just let down where your part is. Oh, it's cutting off. Probably. Okay. So I'm just going to straighten this how it needs to be. But how I do it is I sort of take it from the root at a 45 degree angle, pull it out, and then sort of roll it down. So it gives it that extra volume. My bangs, I do the same thing. Like I said, I just straighten them and then I style them later. So there's 45 degree angle and then roll out. Alright, so my hair is straightened. Now for the bangs, all I really do is I take them forward, pull all this back, I take my bangs forward, and I just sort of straighten them like this, like curled under, and curl this under. I'll do it one more time. And then I usually just take the first half of it and I kind of swoop it over how I'd want it. And then just pin it. I think I saw the pin. And I just pin it up here. And I just take the other half. And I just pin this up swooped also. And then I usually go ahead and, you know, do my makeup and everything. And then I take it down and it's all swooped. So I'm going to leave it there for a few minutes. Um, and maybe I'll do my makeup and just upload a video. So if you want to see how I'm going to do my makeup for today's look, just click on the bottom bar. I'll have a um, link down there for the makeup part of this. And then, yeah. Alright guys, so I just took the bobby pins down, um, as you can see it did swoop my hair a little bit and this is just sort of what I do in the morning, it's very legit, that's exactly what I do now, I get my bangs, you know, and makeup, everything done, so my makeup is done if you can't tell, um, and that's gonna be in the bottom bar if you wanna see how I did this makeup thing, um, I'm sorry it took a while for me to get, you know, videos up, and I guess I'll talk to you guys later, bye!